Hello, you are welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson, we learn how to calculate for the equivalent resistance of a circuit. Okay, so I have an example on the screen here. So let's try our hands on this example for a better understanding. Okay, so we have to calculate for the equivalent resistance of this circuit. So how are you going to do this? So for this to be easy for us, you are going to break the circuit down. Okay, so when we break the circuit down into smaller circuits, we will be able to calculate for the effective resistance very easily. And then this method will also help us understand the question very well. Okay, so first of all, look at this circuit here. Um, we can't tell the resistance the resistors that are in a series connection here. But you can tell that the 15 ohms and then the 20 ohms resistor, okay, they are in a parallel connection. Okay, it is very clear here. Okay, so since we can see that they are in a parallel connection, then let's find the equivalent resistance for these two resistors. Then from there, we continue with the rest of the resistors. So we will deal with the 15 ohms resistor and the 20 ohms resistor since they are in a parallel connection here. Okay, so you find the equivalent resistance for these two resistors. Okay, so I'm going to represent their equivalent resistance with R. So calculating for the equivalent resistance, you use the general formula. One over the equivalent resistance R. Okay, equals one over R one plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus to the last thing, okay, 1 over R sub N. Okay, so this is the general formula that we are going to use, but in this case, we have just two resistors, which is the 15 ohms and then the 20 ohms, okay, so this will now become 1 over R equals 1 over 15 plus 1 over 20. Okay, so this is what we have here. So this will give me 1 over R to be equal to. Let's simplify what I have here. Okay, so to simplify this easily, I'll multiply the denominators, okay, which will be 15 times 20. Okay, so that'll give me the value of what 300. Okay, and then after that, I'll do cross multiplication here. So I'll multiply there. Let me indicate it here very well. So I'll do a cross multiplication here. So I'll multiply this 20 by this one and then this 15 by one. So 20 by this one will give me 20. Okay, plus 15 by one will also give me 15. Okay, so and then we have 1 over R is the equivalent resistance to be equal to 35, 35 divided by 300. Okay, so simplifying this further, so over 300, simplifying this further, you have to do cross multiplication here. So the R will multiply the 35 and then the 300 will multiply this one here. So and then you have what? 35R equals 300. Okay, so I'm going to divide both sides by 35. So I can get a value for the equivalent resistance, 35. Okay, so the 35 will cancel out. So now I have 300 divided by 35. So this will give me how to be equal to 60 divided by 7. I'm going to write this answer in one decimal, please. So that will be 8.6 ohms. 8.6 ohms. So this will be the equivalent resistance for the 15 ohms and then the 20 ohms resistor. So instead of using these two resistors, you can use a single resistor which has a resistance of what? 8.6 ohms. Okay, so with this, we can now simplify the circuit. So let's see how the circuit will become. 
okay so simplifying the circuit now we still have the 10 ohms here we still have the 25 and then the 5 ohms here but if we join the the 15 ohms and the 20 ohms giving us 8.6 ohms so from here you can see clearly that the 10 ohms and then the 8.6 ohms here are in a series connection okay so you can add the two okay so the resistance will now be 10 plus 8.6 okay this will give me a value of what 18.6 ohms that's for this 10 ohms resistance and the 8.6 ohms resistor so from there our circuit has been simplified again so let's look at how the circuit will look like okay so now here is it so you have what the 8.6 here okay i wrote it in one decimal place okay so from here you can see that the 25 ohms and then the 18.6 ohms resistors are in a parallel connection so you can use the formula for finding the equivalent resistance for resistors in a parallel connection to calculate for the resistance here so that will be 1 over r will be equal to 1 over 25 Okay, plus 1 over 18.6 okay so from here you have 1 over r because so i'm going to multiply the denominator so that will be 25 times 18.6 that will give me 465 okay 465 okay then at the top here i'm going to multiply the 18.6 by 1 and then the 25 also by 1 so that'll be 18.6 plus 25 okay so from here you have this to be equal to 18.6 plus 25 that'll give me 43 43.6 okay divided by 465 okay so from here you have to do a cross multiplication here okay so the 465 will multiply the one and then the out here will multiply 43.6 so this will give me 43.6 r okay equals 465 so i'm going to divide both side by 43.6 okay so this will give me the equivalent resistance to be 465 divided by 43.6 so i write the answer in one decimal place so that will be equal to 10.7 ohms okay that will be 10.7 ohms okay so now instead of you writing this 25 ohms and then 18 ohms okay instead of using this 25 ohms and then 18.6 ohms resistor you can use an equivalent resistance of what 10.7 ohms so therefore our circuit now becomes this very simple so from here we can calculate for the total resistance of the circuit so that will be r sub t will equal to what 10.7 plus the 5 ohms here since they are in series so this will give me a value of what 15.7 ohms and this will be the and this will be the value of what equivalent resistance for the circuit that was on the screen from the beginning so it's very simple so you just have to break down the circuit and that will help you get your answer very easily So let's try our hands on this example also okay so for this example also we are supposed to calculate for the equivalent resistance for this circuit here on the screen okay so first of all you have to try and identify series and the parallel connection of the resistors and then this will help us answer this question easily so i'm going to answer this question by simplifying the circuit okay on each step so first of all looking at the like circuit you can see that the four ohms and then the six ohms resistors are in a parallel connection okay because they share 
a common node okay they share these two nodes here and also you can move from the four ohms to the six ohms without passing through any other circuit element so we say these two resistors are in a parallel connection so you can find the equivalent resistance for these two resistors okay so instead of using the four ohms and then the six ohms resistor we can represent them with a single resistor okay which will also perform the same effect as these two so let's look at how you calculate for the effective resistance or the total resistance for these two resistors so we use the general formula 1 over total resistance okay equals 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 plus so the last thing okay 1 over r sub n but in this case we have just the 4 ohms and then the 6 ohms resistor so it will now become 1 over r equals 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 okay so for me i'll simplify what i have here okay so i have 1 over r here equals so i'm going to multiply the the denominators okay so that's 4 times 6 that will be 24 then i'll do cross multiplication if i multiply this 6 here by this one and then multiply the 4 by 1 so 6 by this one here will give me 6 okay plus this 4 multiplying this one will also give you what 4 okay so then you have what 1 over r here being equal to 10 over 24 okay so Simplify this further, you can do cross multiplication. So the R you multiply the 10 and the 24 multiply this one here. So you have what 10 R okay equals 10 R equals the 24. Okay, but I want to find the value of the R here. So I'm going to divide both sides by what so divide by 10 and then divide by what 10. So I can cancel out this 10 over here. Okay, so then I have the R here to be equal to what 2.4. Okay, so that'll be 2.4 ohms. Okay, let me write this here. I equals what 2.4 ohms. Okay, so this will be the equivalent resistance for the 4 ohms and then the 6 ohms resistors. Okay, so instead of using these two resistors you can represent them with a single resistor which has a resistance of 2.4 ohms so let's see how the circuit will become then okay so now we have simplified the circuit okay so this is how the circuit will become then so from here you can see directly that the two ohms and then the 2.4 ohms resistors are what in a series connection okay so what you can do here is that you can find the Total resistance or the equivalent resistance for these two resistors by just adding them. So that would be equivalent resistance will be equal to 2 plus 2.4. So this will give me the value of 4.4 ohms. Okay. 4.4 ohms. So this will be the equivalent resistance for these two resistors that are the 2 ohms and then the 2.4 ohms resistor. Okay, so from there. Since we found the equivalent resistance for these two resistors, we can represent them with a single resistor. So let's see how our circuit will become. So now this is how our circuit will become. Okay. So we have three ohms and then the 4.4 ohms here. So from there we can find the actual equivalent resistance for this circuit. So using the same general formula for finding the resistance of resistors in a parallel connection, that will be one over rt okay r sub t indicating the effective resistance for the circuit so that will be equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 plus plus the last thing okay so in this case you have just the 3 ohms and then the 4.4 ohms so that will be 1 over the effective resistance because 
1 over 3 plus 1 over 4.4 okay 1 over 4.4 okay so going ahead and simplifying it the denominators okay here i'll multiply the denominators so that will be this 3 multiplied by 4.4 so that will give me 13.2 so from here i'll, much, I'll do cross multiplication you can multiply the 4.4 by this one and then the 3 also by this one so that will be 4.4 k plus 3 times 1 which is what 3 okay so then i have what 1 over okay that's up to so I have one over our sub two is the equivalent resistance will be equal to what 7.4 7.4 over 13 13.2 okay so from here I'll do cross multiplication so I'll multiply the equivalent resistance here with this 7.4 and then the 13.2 also be to what one okay so that will be equal to 7.4 our sub t okay equals 13.2 okay so from here you can divide both side by 7.4 divide both side by 7.4 okay this will cancel now so let's see the value of the equivalent resistance now so that will be equal to 13.2 divided by 7.4 okay so that gave me a value of 66 66 divided by 37 ohms okay so you can change this into decimal so that will be equal to that will be equivalent to 1.7837 so that will be equivalent to 1.78 ohms okay so this will be the equivalent resistance for the circuit